All right, let's ask the experts a question of the day. Birth defects have been in the news recently due to the outbreak of the Zika virus. But there's more common birth defects that can cause problems for babies. We have Dr. Ricardo Mastrolia, a fellowship trained maternal fetal medicine specialist, mouthful there, <laughs> with Aurora Healthcare. He joins us now live this afternoon. And we have this first question. I want to make sure I get it right because it's an important one. While it is true that not all birth defects are preventable, we know women can increase their chances of having healthy babies by managing health factors such as adopting healthy lifestyles, right? So what are some of these lifestyle changes? Well, I think first and foremost, diabetes has been associated with birth defects. So diabetes prevention, first and foremost, in addition, you know, patients who have been diagnosed with type 1 or type 2 diabetes, excellent glucose control or blood sugar control can very much help to prevent birth defects as high sugar levels have been associated with increased risk, a significantly increased risk for birth defects. What, what is the impact of obese women who are pregnant and, defect, and, and birth defects? Is there any correlation? There is. We do know that Morbid obesity especially is associated with an increased risk for birth defects in general, but healthy lifestyle, changes in diet and so forth can certainly help. Uh, in addition, folic acid supplementation has been shown to prevent spina bifida or neural mm. tube defects. Okay. So what are these common birth defects? One of the most common birth defects actually is heart defects. Mm. So in general, one in 33, you know, about three to four percent of babies will be affected mm. with a birth defect the most common of which is heart defects, and they affect close to 1% of babies, about 1 in 110. Um, and in addition to birth defects like congenital abnormalities of the heart, uh, spina, you know, spina bifida, uh, cleft lip, cleft palate, club feet, and chromosomal abnormalities such as Down syndrome, uh, mm -hmm. it affects about 1 in 800 babies. So. And some of the def birth defects that you mentioned are treatable or correctable, correct? Yes. Um, heart defects are very treatable. It always depends on the individual birth defect. Uh, it depends on the type of heart defect, but we have many patients that we see in our high-risk OB clinic as well as in our uh, perinatal sites whereby we identify heart defects early and can tremendously improve outcomes with surgery after the baby is born. So Zika virus been in the news, everyone's worried about it. What are you telling parents? What are you telling uh, mothers who are expecting? Oh, this is something that the CDC is monitoring very closely and we as well as uh, high-risk subspecialists are counseling our patients and following the ever-evolving guidelines that, are, that have been put forth. The Zika virus is transmitted by mosquitoes and in places like South and Central America, specifically Brazil, there has been an associated increase in a birth defect called microcephaly. This is when a baby is born with a small head and it's also associated with other neurodevelopmental abnormalities. Uh, there has been an association linked between the Zika virus infection and increased risk for a uh, baby having a small head. Whether or not that is directly causing microcephaly, that we mm. have yet to learn. Mm -hmm. We're learning more and more about the virus, but certainly we're taking preventative measures and counseling patients. Still a lot to learn topic. there. Yes. Thank you very much for sharing some insight on it. We, if you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there on the screen.